will look Stop at Stop this nonsense! Why would you treat a lady in such a derogatory manner? Is something wrong with you? Are you okay? Excuse me, Chief. Who did you just call a lady? This thing. This rag. That's what you call a lady. This. This. If you try it, if you try it, in a business. Oh, let me remind you, Jesse. This is my house. Okay? And I call the shots here. I was expecting that. Be quiet! Now you go in there, bring her clothes, so that she can dress decently before leaving this house. Uh, I'm afraid, Chief, that would be all for my dead body. Huh? Me! Go upstairs to people. You must be out of your goddamn mind. Get out of my house! Uh, uh, Chief, when I met this thing, she was all made up, looking like a response. I thought she was responsible, only for me to bring her home. What I saw was whew, another person. Another person. This is not what I saw. Chief, the worst of it all is if you see how she's oozing. Is she not? Are you comfortable there? Is she not? Are you not smelling anything? Will you keep quiet? She was oozing and you were able to sleep with her. I did not sleep with this thing. Oh. I did not. Did I sleep with you? No, you didn't sleep with her, but now she's naked. Uh, she was trying to seduce me. I didn't fall for her because she's oozing. Get out of my Get out of you, you stop that. Now you go up there and do what I asked you to do. Now! I said no! Chief, you never pay me. Will you shut your trap? Yeah, you never pay me. Am I going to pay you? Are you going to pay me? What are you talking about? Are you mad? You were supposed to pay me. You are in Chief Williams' house and you had the opportunity to turn the only surviving grandson of Chief Williams. Are you asking me to pay you? Chief, tell her to pay me. Get out from here. You are beginning to disgust me. Okay. Get out. All right, Chief. You haven't seen the last of me yet. We will definitely meet on the street. Um, young lady. Sir. Why would a pretty girl like you engage in this kind of, uh, will I say, business? It's a country hard, you know. I'm not going to carry those clothes with my hands. I'm going to use my hands. Are you okay? Sorry. As I was saying, it's very convenient for you to blame the government or the country. But let me tell you, there are a lot of jobs out there that you can do to survive. Okay? So don't be quick to blame your problems in this country on the government. Okay, sir. Um, take this. Thank you, sir. Uh, This is my card. Tomorrow, come to my office and uh, I will look for a decent job for you to do so okay. that you can stop this. Um, I don't know whether I should call it business or whatever. Okay? Thank you, sir. Go it's all right. Sir. It's all right. Um, don't worry. Just wait here. Jason is going to bring your clothes so that you can change. Okay? Okay, Before sir. Before you leave. Okay, sir. Eyes Noli TV.
Take your food and medicine. Mommy, mommy, wake up and eat your food and take your medicine. Yeah. How were you able to get this? Mommy, don't worry, don't worry. I'll talk about it later. What's wrong with you? Oh, can you breathe? Your boy, can you just calm down? Just have a little party, a little fun, you know? Just listen, I really don't want to get upset. I have been calling your phone, you're not taking your calls, and you're here having a party with this dirty gutter girls. What me? Where's my phone? Oh, trust me, my phone is somewhere in this house. I don't even know about it. It's not something for you to get worked up about. I mean. Jason, what's today's date? Are we not supposed to check the property today? Uh, sorry, baby, that's true, but it's not what you're bugging yourself. Come on, baby. 
I'm the one with the money, man. They don't even have a choice. Says who? No, I'm asking you, says who, Jason? That property is in a very strategic site for my business. I will not forgive you if I lose out on it. Babe, you're not going to lose out. I mean, we can change schedule. We can we can do all the beatings, man. I have that money, man. I don't even know why you want to work. I don't know why you... All you think about is trying to establish on one thing or the other. I have said it before. I like to make my own money. And I own an empire. What I own, you own. Why, 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 why you want to bother your beautiful self? Come on, baby. We, we, we can just put this... Oh, sorry, I just I'll just talk from afar. Can we just forget about all this serious talking? <laughs> Something sweet is going on there. Can we... Oh, you're funny. You want me to have a party with just your lives? Are you? You know what? You better use a condom. Okay. So, Dr. Moses, what is the situation this time? I know you can absorb it, so I'll give it to you straight. You start making preparations. Hmm. Is it as bad as that? Worse, worse. You should have died a month ago. <laughs> Dr. Moses. Yeah. You of all people should know that death is afraid of men like me. If you say so, Chief, but that doesn't change the fact that you have less than a month to leave. Exactly what you said two months ago. But as you can see, I'm still alive. And that's what I will still say two months from now. That is if you're still alive. And that's what I see in observation and cross-examination. Dr. Moses. Chief. I will only die when I choose to die. Not a minute earlier. You're welcome, Chief. It's your decision to make. Well, I'll be leaving now. But then I'll stop by on Friday to check up on you. That is, if you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Moses, Chief. I hope you will be alive then yourself. I bet that one on you, Chief. I'll be leaving now, and then I'll give further instructions to the housekeeper. That's all right. Uh, please pass my phone over to me. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Barista John. Oh, you're here already. All right. Um, come over to my room straight away. Oh, good day, Barista. Okay. Yes. Dr. Moses. Barista. You couldn't make it this morning. Oh, yes. I had an emergency. I'm sorry about that, sir. That's okay. So, how is he? <sighs> Same. He knows. And he's taking it in good faith. Chief Williams is a strong man. The strongest I have ever met all my life. Is there nothing we can do, Dr. Moses, at all? 
Because um, looking at him every day, with a feeling that he's going to leave us anytime soon, is not a feeling I hold pleasing at all. It's heartbreaking, sincerely, Dr. Moses. Well, Barrister. Yes. I wish there is something we could do. You know, I'm not just his doctor. I'm like a son to him. Chief practically saw me through school until I was independent before he could let go of me. I feel bad. I feel bad because the cancer has eaten deep into his system. What? There is nothing we can do. I'll be on my way now. Um, Barrister. Yes. You know he has been pitied. You sure. know what to do. I know, sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. John, as you can see, I'm still alive. Barrister, did you get to speak with my grandson, Jason? I've been calling his lines, but uh, he has refused to pick my calls. Not yet, Chief. I think he's busy or something. He hasn't even picked mine, too. But I promise you, I will definitely go see him tomorrow. There is nothing I've not done to shape that young man properly for a better future. Do you know that he calls me chief instead of father? Or grandpa. I mean, what have I not done for that young man? John. Please, Chief. If death is what you want to talk about now, as usual, I am not in the mood. At least you have shown us how strong you can be. So please don't. Come on, John. Death is a debt we owe life. I mean, everyone will die someday, so there is no need to be afraid of death. Okay. Um, have you arranged for the cameras and the other items? Yes, I did. Uh, they will be here any moment from now. What if, if I may ask, Chief? What's the plan? Ah! Ah! Olivia? Are you okay? You had a bad dream? It's fine, sorry, sorry.
Kristo. Amen. Barstow. Barstow. Oh, where's Chief? What did you say happened to Chief? Huh? What did Chief? What happened to Chief? All called you all through yesterday. And you couldn't pick up. I wasn't with my phone. I wasn't close to my phone. Excuse me. So in white. As always, Chief's last word and wish was to see you, at least to have his grandson warm embrace before passing on, like he had a premonition of his death and wanted to make amend with you. But you didn't disappoint. You failed him, as always. Sorry. There's no need crying over spilled milk. He is dead and gone and never to come back. You had a chance to make amend, but you did it. I'm sorry for the loss of your grandfather, my best friend. Sorry about that. Uncle Jay, I'm sorry about your loss. 
He was your best friend and he really persevered. Chief William was a strong man. But the only mistake and regret he had was to over pamper his grandson. Look at what he has turned out to be. He has all the opportunity to become a better man. A doubt if he's going to have any chance in his will. Well, let's hope he learns better. I hope so. rush over to the house immediately and caught the news. It's okay. I know how it feels, but you really need to put yourself together. Please. I love it. I like it here, right? Like it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it. Oh, 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 if you want to talk about the camp with. As you can see, I am having good time with chocolate and pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now, Jesse, and privately. Oh, Both of you leave. Yes. Well, girls, don't feel bad. You know, uh, age, age can be something. Yeah. Yeah, you already know. So, um, you know what you do? Go upstairs, go to my room. Change Leave! Something. Change it to something sexy! Okay! Of it did. The MP is there, turn on, yeah. turn on the new, oh my day! Do that again! Do that, keep doing, oh, days! Go, 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 go! You know I like it! Those Where sexy 90s! Popkin! Fling it! Oh, days! Chief, just take a good look at that! Oh, I love you too! Mwah! Popkin! Chocolate! Look at the way they are flinging! And swinging! Grandpa, Grandpa, just take a good look at the way they are swinging. Look at the way they are swinging. Look at the way Popkin is flinging. This one swings. Chocolate swings. Popkin flings. Jesse, 
Chief. What do you want from life? Since we lost your parents, I have shown you nothing but love, care, attention. You attended the best schools. I gave you everything that life has to offer. So what is this, Jesse? Huh? I have told you severally. Come to the office. Understudy those working there. Understudy me. So that you can take over from me when I am gone. But no. You lavish everything I give to you. On women. Everything that is negative. What do you want? Goodness, 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 goodness. Wait a minute, Chief. All the salmons you just spewed are the reasons you stopped my fun? The reason you asked me to chase chocolate and pumpkin? Really? You want to talk? All right. Let's talk. What's your problem, Chief? What have I done wrong to you? Why do you hate me so much? Yes, I'm asking you, why do you hate me so much? Why are you bent on making my life miserable? When God in heaven has already programmed my life to be, to be enjoyable. What is this? You are a wealthy man. You're a billionaire. In fact, you're, a, you're one of the richest men in this country. Lucky me. And now you have staffs. Let's start from your supervisor. I know him, James. He's my friend. He's very wealthy. You made him wealthy. You paid them very well. Or do I talk about your manager? Do I talk about your, 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 your instructors? How much more your staffs? You pay these people away because you're, you're extremely wealthy. You don't even know what to do with your money. Why on earth do you want me to still wake up in the morning, not tight, wear suits, and go where? Work? Chief, you gave birth to my father with a silver spoon. My father gave birth to me with a golden spoon, which means my lineage are meant to grow. Silver, gold, what next? So tell me, why are you bent on making my life a living hell when I have been programmed, when I've been destined to enjoy my life? Why? I'm asking you, stop looking at me, Chief. You wanted this conversation, so here we are. Answer me. Have you finished ranting? Huh? Young man, I worked hard. I worked hard to get every single penny that I am worth today. Goodness, okay? Goodness, goodness. Ah! Chief, we're just saying the same thing. You just said it in your own way. The older way. What is it? Why are you, why are you, why are you making me repeat myself? Like I said, you have worked so hard. For me, are you, are you bragging that you work so hard? If you hadn't worked so hard, you'd be on the street. You'd be so you would have enjoyed the kind of life you in. you have a private jet. You have all kinds of cars. You have more than one thousand cars. You have this house in this state, more than twenty five pieces. You have everywhere in the city. You have home and abroad. You have businesses. You have empires. Why are you still bent on making me work? Even for the fact that you have hatred for me, huh? Is it my fault that I came into this world to enjoy? It is destiny. You came into this world to plan, to suffer, to strive, to struggle, to make it. And God made it happen. Look at where you are now. You're wealthy. And then God made me to come into this world to reap where I did not sow. I said, yes. What's this? Let me enjoy my life, please. Is that, is, is that why you, you ended my groove? What is this? Huh? It is my destiny to come into this world to enjoy, not to work. Why do you need me to work when Chief has done everything? You've done everything and you, what kind of house do I want to build now that you don't have? What kind of cars do I want to buy now that you don't have? Is it your executive private jet that you just got? Please, Chief. Just, just let me be. Jason. Sir? Like the saying goes, make hay 
while the sun shines. It wasn't you who said it. That shit came into this world before you, so please don't act like you own the line. Yes. Sir? I may not be around all the time to correct you, to make you chat the very good path that is needed for your future. So you better take the chance now that I am around to help you through it. Okay? Have you finished? Good. We don't have much time to waste. Don't remember. We got one. Don't remember. Latino. 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 I am sure Popkin and Chocolate are missing me by now. And the truth is, I'm also missing them. So I need to fall back to duty. Fall back to duty. Fall back to duty. I need to go check out how they are flinging. How they are swinging. Chocolate flings, popkin swings. So I'm not that stingy. There's love and sharing. Deal with that, girl. Deal with that, chief. And please, next time you want to pack my phone, let it be something very important. You hear me? Hey babies! Popkin! Chocolate! Popkin! And then check! It has a ball. I don't know what. Popkin! Chocolate! Hello, Popkin! Chocolate! Popkin! Oh! Chip! I'm sorry, sorry. Far too kind. At least I learned something from you. You're always a kind man. God will give you a stick. Oh no, for your age, I'm not going to give you one. Respect. Chef! You, need, oh, you, want, you want some popcorn too? And some chocolate? I got more where this came from. Popcorn! Chocolate! Popkin! Chocolate! Popkin! Chocolate! Yes, did you? Yeah, he's here with me. He's alright. I'll see you soon. So, Chief, I was. Will you keep quiet? What is this? Oh, uh, sorry. I mean, what, what, what kind of human being are you? Huh? Do you have to stop that boy with a broken bottle? I said that wasn't enough. You destroyed things at the club, including death for me. What is this? Huh? Is it a crime to have a grandson? A grandson that cares less about his own life. You see, this is the exact problem I keep having with you, Jeff. You never believe that anything good can come from Jason. Oh, you hear this story? Oh, Jason is bad. You hear this story? Oh, Jason is at fault. Oh, Jason is the curse. Have you for once asked me? Oh, Jason, let me hear your own version of the story. Now. That stupid boy, a nobody, insulted me, Jason Williams, in public. I held myself. He insulted my girlfriend in the club, in public. I also held myself. And then, he insulted my family. That includes you. And you expect me to take a selfie with him? Clap for him? No, Chief. It's lucky he's not hospitalized. The next time he tries such, our pumps will visit his family. Are you done? For now, yes. Get out. Hmm? Get out of my room right now! 
Oh. Well, that's true. Quick reminder. Your room. Your house. I'll leave. I think it's about that time we sorted this out, Chief. Because there's this slogan or saying in worry that you don't they see me finish. I'm gonna leave your house. But before I do, you're going to select one of the houses, your houses, you give to me. Then secondly, you have to increase my monthly allowance. That I'm sure you will do, so that I can leave your room as well as your house. Mm. How does that sound? Have you finished spewing this garbage out of that thing you call him out? Have you? Well, I know each time you sound like this, you're going to do it. And real quick. Thank out. Peacefully. Thank you. Are you asking me to calm down? Baby liar, are you asking me to calm down? What you, is it? What is what? I'm just coming from the house and I heard he read the will and all my father willed to me was a common box with instructions. Is that all you can do? Really? Okay, now, tell me where I can find your uncle. Well, I wouldn't know about that. Uncle John will be in a better position to explain. Good, and that is why I'm here to see Uncle John. Can you please tell me where I can find your Uncle John? Imagine! My, my uncles, my aunts, gatesmen, maids, we're all gifted, we're all willed properties. And all that is willed to me is a common box. As if that's not enough with instructions. Can I please understand something? Where can I find your uncle? Please calm down. We can talk this over. You don't need to scream. Baby lawyer, talk what over. I'm asking you a question. Talk what over. I am not here to see you. Tell me where I can find your stupid uncle. Oh, Boris the John! Get out of my way! Boris the John! Jason! Boris the John! Are you going to call Boris the John from your There's now? There's no one here. I know you're in there. I know you're in there. Come out and tell me why you told everyone that my grandfather left it with a box? I said that's not enough. With instructions left with it. Where is Paris to John? There's no one here. You're just screaming. We can talk this over. There's no need screaming. I'm not supposed to say this again, but please. 
Come have a seat so we can have a talk. Calm down. Calm down. Tasha, did I hear you up? Well? Calm down. In broad daylight, my inheritance, my birthright, my empire is trying to be taken away from me, and all you can say is calm down. And you think the best solution is violence? You think that is the right thing to do? Just for goodness sake, why don't you calmly talk to Barrister John? Find out what this task or what you have in the box is all about. That is what every sensible man will do. I do not want the box. I want my empire. And you will get it. Jason, you will get it, but with wisdom. You have to think. Listen, you know your grandfather was not in good terms with you. He never liked you. I don't want Mr. John to use that against you. All I'm asking is, can we have a talk with Mr. John? Find out what a task or what you have in the box. I mean, just act like, yes, you really want to be involved in this. This will actually lead you to your inheritance. Think. I just want my inheritance. Exactly what I am saying. I want you to get it. But we have to apply wisdom. Jason, I don't think this is the time for you. Uncle Jay. Sharon. Are you good? Yes. I've been thinking. About what? Jason. I mean, he's such a promising young man that has every opportunity to become a better man. So I wonder why he chose the opposite. And now I don't even know his fate in his grandfather's empire. You see, Chief of Pimpad, his grandson. So he's trying to make amends. How? What? <laughs> After his death? Yes. There's a lot we need to learn about Chief. I have spoken to Jason. Let him do himself some glory by coming over to my office tomorrow. I am adhering to Chief's instruction with no compromise. Not even a bit. I was hoping I... I believe all those questions and concern has nothing to do with any form of interest in him. Too bad. Too bad for a lawyer and more also a client. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I am busy. Excuse me. Why well, excuse to? You, you are, are a wealthy, wealthy man. man. You're, you're a billionaire. billionaire. In, in fact, fact you're, you're, a, you're, you're one, one of, of the, the richest, richest men, men in this country. country. Lucky, Lucky me. me. And now and you, you have staff. Let's start from, from your supervisor. I know him, James. He's my friend. friend. He's very, very wealthy. wealthy. You, you made him wealthy. wealthy. You, you paid, paid them very well. well. Or do, do I, I talk about your manager? manager? Do, do I, I talk about your, 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 your instructors? How much, How much more do you staff? You paid this way because, because you're, you're extremely, extremely wealthy. wealthy. You, you don't even know what to do with your man. Why on earth do you want me to still wake up in the morning, not tight, wear suits, and go where? Work? Can 
you just stop this pretense and this nonsense compliment? You and I know you don't like me, and thank God the, the feeling is mutual. I don't like you too. Let's do each other a favor by going straight to the point. Will you shut up your mouth? I'm only acting on the instruction of your late grandfather, Chief Williams, who you did not give the opportunity to talk to you in life. And he did that in death. So you shut up your mouth and listen. I do not know your game, X. My praise worth it. Well, <clears throat> I was instructed to do this to unseal this and to be witnessed by you, his grandson. Hello, Jesse, my son. If you are watching me right now, it means I am dead. Well, this looks like, uh, or it appears to be an unconventional means of passing my information over to you. But as it were, this is the most plausible concept I feel I can use to pass the information across to you. I have made a lot of mistakes in the past and I need to correct them. I feel I have spoiled you over the period by giving you everything in life. Look at where it has landed us. It is my fault because I feel I have hurt you. Now I need to forget everything that has happened in the past and build a better future for you. And that is why I have decided not to give you anything. Hmm? <sighs> this is a joke, right? Barista, is this what you called me here to watch? This nonsense? Is this what you called me here to watch? Shut up, son. Hmm? I know that you are going to react like this. Well, I never said I would not give you anything. Of course I'm going to give you something. As a matter of fact, there are a series of gifts lined up for you. But they will not come in a platter of gold. They will come as a series of tasks that are lined up. If you fail any of these tasks, you will get nothing. But if you pass, you would have won yourself a very pleasurable future in my empire. I therefore suggest that you make Barrister John your friend 
and ensure that you don't fight him as usual so that he can properly guide you. I wish you the best of luck, my son. I love you. Barrister John, over to you. Make sure you handle everything as planned. Grandfather. You were leaving first thing in the morning to Kuala Camp. John or whatever it is. In you what are you talking about? John or whatever it is you call your name. Do you know who you're talking to? Jason Williams? The only grandson of the multi billionaire late chief Williams? You want me to go in a public bus? Are you out of your goddamn mind? I am acting on the instruction of your grandfather. Chief Williams. And if I were you, I won't argue on this. Your fortune lies on that journey. Mr. Jeremy is already waiting for you at the slum with the gift. Remember, all eyes are on you in case you want to cheat. Just look at your mouth. Mr. Jeremy is waiting for you. Why do you hate me so much? Why do you want me to go in a public bus? What happens to my grandfather's private jet? Cars? Drivers? Why are you insisting that I go in the public bus? Good luck, Jason Williams. Good luck, Jason. You shall see. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out! Move! Get out! He was so fine out when he discovers what happened to his account. You know what? Of course I know this people. Maybe you think I'm surprised I am not. I know my grandfather doesn't like me. I'm not surprised he's treating me like this. Says who? Jason, this man only gave you a condition. It's not like you have lost out completely. Listen. And it's just trying to test how strong and man enough you are to shoulder responsibilities. Good. If he wants to know how man enough to shoulder responsibility I can be, then he should try me by releasing one of his companies to me. Not telling me to go to the slum in a public bus. You will not die if you go to the slum in a public bus. What is wrong with you, Jason? How hard is it to prove to these people that you are strong? You can do things on your own. You are mad enough. Don't you get the... Listen, babes. We need this money. We need the wealth, the affluence. You made me promises, remember? My engagement in Maldives. Our wedding in Paris. Our honeymoon in... In, in, in Bahama, she promised to take me to Santorini, to Mykonos, to Bora Bora, to Mebaya, babes. Remember our dream kids, our dream home, my dream car, everything you promised me. That's baby girl life. You can't just take that away from me. Listen, the slum thing is just a one-time pain. It won't kill you. Babes, all you need to do is prove to these people that you are strong enough. You can do things on your own. Please, the slum won't kill you. Please. Is... Is that... Oh. Uh, you don't... You don't need to say anything. That is a yes. Yeah? Listen. I promise I am going to be with you till the end. Okay? Okay. How long is it going to take? Am I not talking to you? How long is it going to take? I got to leave me to this boat to go. Why are you not worrying me like this? Uh-uh. 
Really? Make I not worry you. Oh, Jason, you're done. Fix this car. Fix it. So how long is it going to take? Two, uh, only two hours. Two hours is what you call only. My days, Jason. Two hours is what you open your mouth to call only. Thank you. Thank you. I do. Jason Williams, go in the public bus. This is the public bus. Jason Williams, go in the public bus. Now you see how public bus behaves. Have you seen what you've cost? I'm talking to you, have you seen what you've cost? Sorry, sir. It's it's my daughter. She was just playing rough. I am sorry. What do you have to say to you? I'm sorry, sir. It wasn't intentional. Yes, it wasn't intentional. It's all right. Um, I'm I'm just uh looking for this address. I don't know if you could help me. Yes, our boy involved. Trafficates. Okay, indeed. You know where you enter, so. it's yeah. the entire yeah. city. Come in this time, sir. Come in. 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 Come Chamo, Chamo, you know this Chamo, 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 you speak English. Anyway. Yeah. Wait, wait, you said something over there. You said I'm your boy? I heard something like Mekuna live and I'm my boy. Don't you ever call me your boy! Stand up! Put me down, man! Put me down, man! What's this? 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 What's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm very sorry about your grandfather's death, eh? Chief Williams. Correct, man. No. Chief Williams, eh? He built schools for us for this area. He built church. You know, he pay scholarships, school fees. And maybe your grandfather high for this area now. 
pay me. I don't know. Hey, hey, well, do you remember you didn't tell me your name. What's your name? Jeremy. Yeah, my name is Jeremy. Good. Why are you bent on talking about my grandfather? Is he your grandfather? Is he your grandfather? Can you just do me one favor? Shut up. Take me to wherever it is you're taking me to. Give me what I came for and let me get out. Ah, <laughs> Phillips. Correct, man. I don't know where I'm Only good people, they die. Uh, your grandfather, correct, man. See this whole land. This whole land. Over 50 acres. Your grandfather, this whole place like this. You see how? Oh, yeah. Your grandfather, this then yeah, manufacturing this, all these iPhones, your grandfather pack. You understand? You see how? Now your grandfather get this old pack. I mean, Jerome, is it possible for you to stop him? Is he your grandfather? Take me home, give me whatever it is that brought me here, let me get out of here. You're telling me he owns this, he owns that. What's my business? <laughs> Don't you ever call me boy! <laughs> hey, I didn't see you now. What did you just say? Let's go inside. Go in where? Into this dungeon. That's not possible. Listen, Jerome, I didn't come here to step into your dungeon. I came here to pick up a parcel, and when I am done, I bounce. Go in there, give me the gift. That's it. Ajebo, you hear the reason why they follow you talk like this now? Better I'm going to enter inside. Look, if I go in, what the boys go do you for this area? You know, go like up. They go obtain you. You know how rugged I am. Really? Do you know how rugged I am? <laughs> they go naked you. Oh, please. Okay. No, Allah. Oh, please. Okay. Please, sir. All you're trying to do is to scare me to get into this dungeon with you. It's not going to happen. Look at your roof. How am I so sure when I get inside it's not going to dilapidate? How am I so sure it's not going to collapse? Huh? Look, I don't even understand if this place is a shrine. Let's take a good look at the box. I'm not going inside. Look at your cutting. Dirty. I don't understand what's happening here. Huh? Look at, look at your broom. It's like a weapon. Everything here is not just working. Look, look, look everywhere. Dirty. You want me to sleep here so that I can have all the typhoid, all the malaria, all the sickness? Jason Williams won't stay in a place like this. A dog. Sorry. I'm truly sorry. You miss him. I miss him every day. I was not only his lawyer, but he was my best friend right from school days. Chief William is the best thing in my life. I doubt if Jason is going to make it. I don't even know why I feel for him. That's the best reason. For him to take this time around. Can you get me a drink? Okay, sir.
He's been trying his life. His number is not reaching. I'd rather just send him a voice note. Hi babes, how are you? I um I've been trying to reach you all evening. I can't get you online. I hope you're good. Try and call me back once you get this message, okay? And um be good wherever you are. I love you. your problem. Everything here is not working. Hey, Ajebo. Alpha, 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 that. Jeremy. Well, sure, sure, sure. Come on, good job. Where you brought that from? Yes, uh, Jeremy, what's going on here, man? I need network. I need to make a call. What this shit is not going through? But you have network. Come on, good job. Jeremy, did you say leave network? I haven't spoken to Barrister John and my girlfriend. It's evening. Can you tell me leave network? She said be somewhere network will be in this house. See, let me tell you something, eh? In this whole neighborhood, network no they decide. If you want to see network, I'll carry you go one or two few places on network day tomorrow morning. Come on, good job first. I can't stay here, Jerome. I can't, I can't, I can't eat that and I can't stay here. Please, there should be a hotel very close by. So check me in. Let me let me fix myself. I can yeah, afford yeah. it. Hey. I can't stay here, man. This place is so conducive for me. I can't, I'll puke. And your boy. Hey, but you can't stay here. You'll puke. Uh, oh my God, good job. Four food go finish. Uh. This is the only food you have. Can't do that. <laughs> It's not possible, man. Look for something for me. You can't eat this. No, I can't. I saw where you brought that. Look at look at how smashed that that, that one. That, that's where you can. I, I, I can't eat that. You can't eat that. Okay. <laughs> midnight. When midnight reach, you will cancel it if hunger catch you. Don't worry. Look at it now. Look at it your own job. Hey! Look at finish out, man. Ah! Jeremy! Don't tell me you're not going to bring the light. No. Are they going to restore this light, Jerome? No, no, Martin. No, Nigeria would be. No, I never declined. Okay, no. okay. It's, it's, that's, that's, so turn on the generator. I don't believe generator and solar. My brother, I don't want to chop the food out to get my to buy generator. So this is how we're going to sleep. Like I want your phone, touch light, put me to each other. See this one. Good boy. Ajima, wake up. Oh, time to go. Time to go. Where? I'm just trying to get some sleep, please. You know me. Let me be, please. Ah, let's go through the night. You're aware the mosquitoes were too much. Hey, wake up before we go. What is all this now, Jeremy? What is this? Is it because I'm in your house? Huh? I've not slept all through the night. You know. Just this morning, I'm trying to catch some rice and I your So you want me to have a headache? What is all this now, Jeremy? Can I please shut down a little bit, please? When will they shut down? I shut up. Look, eh? if we don't go in 30 minutes, you lose everything. Do you understand? You have just 30 minutes. Uh, let's go. <coughs> oh, goodness. Jeremy. Okay, all right. Where am I going to take my shower and then pace and get ready? No worry. This corner here in the bedroom, there. You get one empty gallon, okay? If you come out of this road, you turn left. You see tap, fresh water, they come back. Meet me for answer. I'm going to drink Baraga. Jeremy, what did you know? That must be a job. I'm going to take this gallon, go out. I don't know anywhere here. I'm in your house now. You're supposed to be so nice enough to get me water now, Jeremy. But I say, you know why? It's 30 minutes. Are you savvy? Jeremy! 30 minutes. Jeremy, I don't know anywhere here now. Jeremy, where? Ah! What kind of human, what kind of heartless human being is this? I'm a guest for God's sake. I don't even know anywhere here. Wait a minute. Jason Williams? 
gonna pick this gallon, go outside. Everyone is going to see me. Fetch water, come back inside here, take a shower. Goodness. Grandpa, what did I do to deserve this? Huh? What is wrong? What is wrong? I'm not going anywhere. Shutting down. Not slept. Haven't you done enough, Tony? Leave us alone. Leave me in peace. I can't leave you alone. You deserve no peace. Maybe you messed my life up. And now you want peace. I did nothing to you. You messed up your own life. Just stop bugging me. Hey, come on. Get up here, say. Ah! You better walk out on me. Now you want to stay in peace? No. Oh. Hmm? Excuse me. Is it possible for you to leave the phone alone? Please. And who the hell are you? It doesn't really matter. What matters most is that you're hurting the poor girl. Now listen, young man. I will advise you to leave here now because it is not your business. Maybe. I leave the poor girl alone. And what if I say no? What are you going to do? Stop. Maybe. Oh, I see you've got a boyfriend to fight for you. Or should I say, to defend you. Now listen, young man. I will advise you leave here now before I do something drastic. Sorry, who is he? My, my ex. Oh. And uh, don't worry, he's not coming back. Trust me, you're safe now. Where are you headed? Or where were you headed? I was going to fetch water. All right, that means we're going the same way. I was also going to fetch water. One, two. You lead, I follow. He is not coming back, trust me. Right behind you, move. Strap, 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 strap. <laughs> ghetto. Life in the ghetto. What did I do? Life in the ghetto. I never knew ghetto used to have such a. Look at the ghetto. The opposite of the world that I know. Hey, my friend, hold up. You sure say you want dress like this? You know, we go out with the girl. What are you talking about, Jeremy? Man, I look fresh and fly. I'm supposed to go out with you? How? Come on, man. The fact that I slept here with you doesn't mean I fall. Come on, Jeremy. You've forgotten my swag. Look at me, man. I'm dripping. Okay. That's my half cover shoe. Yeah, I've dripping. got a Louis V. Half cover shoe. You go see the flow. No worry. You go the flow of the drip. No good to go. But see, normally I'm not supposed to talk to you about these things. But it's based on who you are. That's why I'm saying this thing to you. You can't dress like this because we're going to. Nah, that's not possible. Come on, Jeremy, man. This is how we swag on. Come on, man. Now you talk as if you don't know. This is how we swag. Hey, yo, ghetto! Jason in the ghetto! Stop talking too much. You lead, I follow. Jason in the ghetto! Oh, they go. Jason in the ghetto, don't worry. Jason in the. You move, I do what? I follow. Hey, Jason is in the ghetto. I love ghetto. But I'm not gonna be here for so long. Jason in the ghetto. Hey, stop shouting. Don't tell me to stop shouting. Stop you shouting. don't talk to me like that, Jerome. Where are we going to? Huh? Where are we going? What are we doing here? See. Huh? Stop shouting. Don't ask me not to. Don't ask me to stop shouting. 
I am only following instructions. Your grandfather's instructions. Mm. To worship this tree? Is that what my grandfather said? What kind of crazy old man is that? Hey, 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 hey. Your grandfather was a very nice man to me and all of us in this community. Mm -hmm. Do not speak ill of the dead. Is he your grandfather? Is he your grandfather, Jerome? Is my grandfather? I have every right. I have every right to speak to him the way I want. What kind of thing is this? Uh, Jason. That's my name, Williams. Okay. Jason Williams. Yeah. Okay. Grandson of Chief Williams. If you want to unlock your inheritance, you have to follow instructions. Good. I'm listening. Your grandfather said you will carry cutlass, you will cut sticks from this tree. Say that again. You will cut sticks from this tree. Not only that. You use the sticks then to fence this land. It's your grandfather's land. You fence it round. Fence it round. Eh? Not only that, my guy. Calm down. You know what I wish? Then the other one over there, that land, you go clear them. My bush be, you will turn them to a farmland. So from there, you begin to unlock your inheritance. Tell me. Just kill me. No, kill me. Bro, they like, just kill me. My grandfather said I should. Do you know this tree? Have you heard of Obeche? Have you heard of Obeche? This is Obeche tree. Obeche, cutlass cannot cut Obeche. This is one of the strongest trees in the entire world. What they use in cutting this tree is chainsaw. Are you going to give me one? Are you going to give me one? Jerome, are you have... Jerome! I'm still talking, he's giving me a... What is that? Another, another task again? It's your unit. I'm supposed to chew this one now. This is what you wear to walk. Jeremy, Jeremy, what is this? I've told you, if you want to, or oh, you don't want the inheritance. I don't want, no, yes, I want the inheritance, but I don't want to clear this place. You don't want the inheritance. I want the inheritance, but cutting this tree, this is a beche tree. It is very difficult. Did you do agriculture in your school? Ah. What is it again? Ah, Another shit. test. Shit. Another test. What is it? Ah. Of all the trees to cut, Obeche. Obeche, I know this tree. Obeche, and then I'll cut sticks from this tree. I have to fence this whole place. Jeremy, did you see where you asked me to fence? Here, there, down. Oh my god, as if that's not enough, I'm still going to go clear another bush there. What kind of thing is this, Chief? Why are you this heartless, Chief? Why are you this mean and wicked? You were mean to me in life, you're still mean to me in death. What kind of person are you? What kind of person are you? Just to unlock inheritance, you want me to to cut Obeche, Obeche, and then cut sticks from it. Go look at this football field. Look at this football field alone, and then I'll here, here, and here. No, you're not here, so you wouldn't know. If you see what this stupid man called Jeremy showed me, that my grandfather asked me to cut. Babe, do you know that tree they call Obeche? Oh, of course you did. You did agriculture. Yes, yeah, so Obeche tree. That's what this stupid Jerome showed me. I said, Grandfather asked me to cut sticks from it. Then, if you see the football field, he asked me to fence. I said, That's not enough. I'm going to go and clear another bush. I can't go through this now, baby. I'm not, I'm not going to accept any manual labor. It's not going to happen. What doesn't kill a man only makes him stronger. You need to prove to your grandfather, prove to everybody that you are capable of doing this. But, 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 but baby. Listen. You need to be, you need to be proactive. Or would you just sit down and watch them hand your inheritance over to somebody else? No, just because of one manual labor. Come on now. You need to make them believe that you can handle this. They all want you to fail, but we would not let that happen. You won't let it happen. I won't let it happen. We won't let it happen. We need to get that money. All right, babe. But I know what Chief is trying to do, but I won't let him. I won't let it happen. Good. I think now you know exactly where I am coming from. You are getting there. And that is why I call you the love of my life. So I need you to sit up, put yourself together, and get everything they want you to do done. Okay? I love you. <laughs> Alright, babe. Bye. Boy, so daft. Mm. Jeremy! 
Hey! The road might be wrong But I'll keep on treading this path With enemies surround I'll keep fighting until I win Chuku kumunazu I cannot lose what is mine Chuku melumeze I'm taking over, I'm taking over Chuku Kumunazu That's how he comes to molest us every day. If I was that, I would have broken his head. Well, as far as I am here, no harm will come to you or your mother. I will never let anyone molest you again. Yes, Uncle. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you, uh, Jason. Aren't you going to work today? Um, uh, yes, I... Well, there is no deadline. But I have to still go back to work so I can finish and get out of here. At the same time, I still have to take things easy before I continue to hurt myself. Well, that's no much work. We do harder things here. Olivia? Yes, no. He's a rich man's son. Well, you and I are two different people. You've been working since you were born. I have never worked since I was born. Your grandfather was right. So that you can have values to work. The earlier you do it, the faster you get your gift. Olive. Um, um, Jason, I am sorry. She can be very, very expressive at times. Well, there is nothing to be sorry about here. The little girl is smart. She's right. I think I have to stay focused and set my mind on the goal. So, back to you. What class are you?
Are you okay? <laughs> Uncle Jay, I'm fine. Good. Good evening, um, good afternoon, good morning, sir. Save your greetings and go get me my money. I have no time for this, your unproductive greetings. Oh, Lord. At least respond to our greetings now. Shut up! What do you know other than food? Is it by force to respond to greetings when you people are owing me? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Don't. You know, she, she's just a kid. Oh, Lord. Even federal government is owing you. And no one have killed them. Shut up! What did I hear you say just now? Eh? Sir, please. Uh, you know she's just a kid. Sir, I, I promise to pay you by month end. You know I'm a teacher and they haven't paid us for over four months now. But I, I swear I, I will pay you once they pay me. I, I will pay your money in full. I, I promise. This is not my business. You must pay. I gave you a beautiful option. And you rejected it. You will pay. Yes, sir. I, I, or I'll throw you out. Hey, no, it hasn't gotten to that, sir. I, 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 I will pay you. Oh, God, Lord, you know I'm like a daughter to you. You are not my daughter and will never be. Let me give you this last one in my bell. If I come back here next week and you don't have my money, better pack out hey. or I will throw you out it myself. It hasn't gotten to that, sir. Please. Oh, God, Lord, please, nah. Shut up. If I hear your voice again, I will cock your head. Cockroach, you toads are jumping around the ponds of water. You don't know that money is difficult. We'll pay you, sir. I, I promise. We'll pay you. You know it's original, so let's just um let's just stay at two hundred K. Two hundred K for this iron. I know that's not the original. Can you just take a good look at that watch? So I'm gonna give you five K maybe for no cost issue. Maybe that's your own buyer. So you get. Look at that wristwatch. Oh. No, look at the name on it. It's Rolex. Well, I'm not going to look for it. This is my iron now. Okay, I'll give you 10k. Maybe for no cost score. 10k now. 10k. Do okay. So I can hey, 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 come, come on, my brothers. Please. Please. Thank even you. for the fact that I need money urgently, I'm not sure I'll be selling my, my jewels. Please. 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 That wristwatch alone. But I got to 20 alpha. Is it okay for you? 20k, guys. 20 don't do okay for you again. My guy said 20. Don't be me. My guy said 20. No two reasons now. I help you. They help you. It's not we say we really need that more. But I may not come back and say we'll fall your hand. No issue, my bro. I will not ask you this one. I just like to say, the market is pure.
But um, is your rent not complete? That's your annual rent. You can keep the balance. But that's all you want then. Give her the receipt and do not disturb her again. Who are you? Who I am is inconsequential. I know who you are. Give her the receipt. Do not bother her. And if she asks how did the money come about, just say Good Samaritan paid for her. Did you hear me? Do we have an understanding? Mm -hmm. We do? Mm -hmm. Indeed a miracle. Very big miracle. But he didn't tell you who the person is. No, he didn't. He only said it's a good Samaritan. Who is this good Samaritan? But mom, you would have forced him to tell you so that we can tell you the person properly. He didn't give me the chance to. Because when he gave me this, I could not believe it. I was shocked. I was confused. But mommy. I'm suspecting you could just see him. But you know he doesn't have any money. And you didn't discuss it with him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Whoever did this, God bless the person. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead.
it has been a short time but you've been amazing and i will miss you you've been amazing too and i'll surely miss you too hmm? um but i do not want you to feel bad because it's not going to be too long and i will be back okay okay um Jay, thank you very much, especially for saving us from Tony. I appreciate. It's nothing. I also believe that it's one of my duties to keep you safe. <laughs> Mr. Jeremy is somewhere waiting for me. I have an appointment with him in 10 minutes, so that means I have to get going. But before I bid goodbye, I have to state one thing. It is not going to be long. I will be back. I miss you. We miss you too. Olivia and I, we miss you. I'll be back before you know it. Okay. I have to go. Bye. So, um, we'll see soon. Very soon. Jason, I must be very sincere with you. I am very much impressed. If you can handle what you did in the past few weeks, you can handle anything successfully. Gracias. Have it. Thank you. Jason, I am only acting strictly under the instruction of your grandfather. What stupid, senseless instructions is that? I'm asking you, what stupid and senseless instructions is that? Jason, please, can you calm down? Hey, hey, hey. Baby lawyer, I wasn't referring to you. You have no clue of what this is all about, so you shut the fuck up. You hear me? Stay out of this. Jason, listen to me. No, you listen to me. By the time I am back, and this is not sorted out, you won't like me. Barrister John, you won't like me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Temper. At least you should have given that guy some, some space to explain this to you. What space are you talking about and what explanation are you talking about? Is it okay that they are fooling me? Huh? How else do you want them to paint it to you? They are just fooling me and the worst thing is I'm not even sure this so-called grandpa chief left something for me. Especially with all these things I just, you know, them using me. They just want to frustrate me. They I just want... 
Change this and you're not even listening to yourself. I don't know if you don't think fast. They just want you to play by the rules. And your head hasn't told you that these rules might lead you to your inheritance. Jason, come on, think fast now. What, what, what's the name? Babes, we need this money. Mm. All you need to do is just to, you know, calm down, do everything they ask you to do, and boom, we are good. But I already shouted at Barrister John. Oh, God. Jason, it doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't. I mean, just have a talk with him. Moreover, this man works for the family. Yes, he works for you. So you have every right to shout at him. Jason, think fast. What do you want me to do? Voila! That is the exact question I have been waiting for you to ask. So you are going to listen to me attentively. I will tell you everything you need to do. Okay? Barrister, please wait. Barrister. Barrister, no, Barrister, Barrister, please wait. Barrister, Barrister. 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 Bar so I can rest. Everyone expected you to fail and lose out. It is up to you to decide your faith and your future, Jason. Chief um. said it's a series of gift, Jason. I am following Chief's instruction. Please. Okay. Um, I... I just want to know, in all honesty, Barrister, did Chief actually leave something for me like property, money? How much did Chief leave for me? Because I'm suffering. I don't know. But I know it's more in billions, actually. But you have to earn it. All right. So, um... What is the next task? Well, come by my office tomorrow. And he will talk to you. Excuse me. Um, do you care for a drink? Can I imagine what? What? What's this? It really sounded like someone was dying or something. Someone is about to die. Me. What? <laughs> no, this is not even possible. Okay. You, you mean your late grandfather actually took a loan and he used this house and your car as collateral? Now with you and no one is paying. Without a notice. That's the most killing part of it. Without a notice. They, they locked you out of the house as well. Right, you see, I'm very much outside. In my house. What have I done? Huh? What have I done? What, what, what did I ever do to Grandpa? Uh, have you called Barrister John? 
Yes, I have called Paris to John. And guess what he said? What is that he is very much aware that my grandfather used my house and my car as collateral to a loan I have nothing to do with. And now I have to get my inheritance. And then from there, I settle up the loan. I get back my house, get back my car. That's it. Isn't this wickedness from the pit of hell? Now tell me. I know what they're trying to do. Um, they are trying to dissuade your focus. But I'll tell you this. We will beat them at their game. You know what? Get into the car. Let's get to my house. Think of something to do. I mean, we have to come up with something. I said my house and this is the way to the car. Why are you still looking at the house? Do I have to leave my house? Your house? Yes, my house. Jason, open your eyes. The gates are locked. You're standing outside. So it's no longer your house. Can we go, please? So I just have to leave my house just like that? Stop calling it your house, Jason. Face reality. Let's go. Are you coming or not or you want to jump over the gates? I just want to keep looking at my house. It's my house. It's my house. Oh, well, keep looking. I can understand how you feel right now. But one thing I want you to know is that losing is part of living. I have lost stops, opportunities, so many things in the past. But I learned from them. I started all over and today I am a genius, a business guru. So there is no need to cry or feel bad over losing because losing is part of life. Son, what I want you to learn from this experience is to discover your real self and your true friends. When you are down, that is when you discover your true friends. Friends that will stick to you, that will stand by you and do whatever it takes to make you get up again. So son, go out there and look for a true friend. Good luck. Marissa John, what is Chief talking about? What is my grandfather talking about? Listen, I have real friends. I have niggas. I have real talks. I have friends who got my back. Friends who will pull strings for me. Friends who will take a bullet for me. Friends who will pull a trigger at the snap of my fingers. Now tell me, can I have my house back? You will, if you earn it. In a nutshell, your grandfather wants you to return to us by the end of the month with one true friend who you can bank on in good time and bad time. Right now, you have absolutely nothing to your name, not even a shelter. So let us see who is willing to accommodate, stick, and cope with you at this time. That's his true friend. No, 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 no. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Come on now, I'm not asking you this. 
All right, can you give me a few days? I'll sort it out. How about the Andre Kia act stuff? Hello? 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 So, um, I can't get any amount at all. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. So it doesn't matter how the room looks like. All I care is just a place to lay my head. You know, let, let me just let me just think and sort things out. Um, you know, with time, I believe I'll bounce back. Huh? What's up, Nelson? I, haven't you been paying attention? I've been talking now. I know. I'm just thinking. You know, I, you know, my other brother is the one paying for this, and he's coming back with the girlfriend from Abuja. And, uh, I don't think you'll be happy with a different company in the house, you know, so I wish I can help you. Know. But, but your girlfriend, you're the one paying for that. Why don't you move in with her instead of trying to squat here that is not conducive for you? That's what I'm saying. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Well, I, I, I... Listen, let's don't even think it, okay? It doesn't make sense. Just try and move in with her, okay? All right? I have where I'm going. Let me just move. We'll see later, okay? There's dog. Oh. There's dog in the company in case you want to. All right, I'll see you. Understand, but you should go. even one person. I lived my life supporting friends, being there for friends, making sure friends are doing well. What do I get? All said no. No. What a word. None can even come to my rescue. None. Not even one. Babes? Hmm? Are you there? Oh, um, of course I'm here. Yes, I am. Um, it's just that I really have nothing to say. I mean... Is there something I should say? I need a shelter over my head. I need a place to stay until this whole inheritance thing is resolved. You mean none of this your friends can lend you? None of them. Okay. Um I don't I don't have a problem with you staying here, but I don't just want people to start talking, you know, like you living with a woman. It's people will definitely talk. Very true. 
Whether they see, whether they don't. Yeah. They always talk. Whether good or bad, they will always talk. Mm. Mm. Let's not live our lives for people out there. Let's live our lives for us. Do I make myself clear? 100%. So, which room am I staying? Show me. Um, a minute, I um, I'm just going to make a quick transfer. Um, once I'm done, I'll I'll take you inside. Okay. All right, um, All right. All right. Uh, the file on Alakija's case. Any new evidence? Yes, sir. You may have a look. I will look at it when I'm done. You can keep it. Okay, sir. Um, about Jason, sir. Do you think any of those his crazy friends would be of good use to him on this quest? Because I have fears. Then he will learn the hard way. Chief William is a very wise man. Can't you see we are having positive results so far? Yes, sir, but I was trying... Don't you ever mix emotion with your work? Sharon, I keep telling you that as a growing lawyer, you go back to work and concentrate. Okay, sir. to do like junction. Jason, what is the meaning of this? Why is it so hard for you to keep this house clean? I don't understand. What do you... What do you mean you don't understand? What is this for? Exactly what I said. And I'm definitely sure you are not blind. Jason, go into the kitchen. Go and see the plates you left unwashed for who to come and keep them clean. Me? Are you in any way insinuating that I clean up the kitchen? No. Go outside. 
Help me to go and fly the aeroplane I parked there. You are asking me if you should go and clean up the kitchen. Who will clean it? Jason, I'm asking you, who will clean it? I go out every day, hustle, bring back money to this house to take care of you and every other thing in this house. All you do is sleep, watch Netflix and chill. I'll wait for Tasha to go out, bring money and take care of you. Just to wash plates. You're waiting for me to return to come and wash the plates. I don't blame you. But let me make this clear. If you know you're not going to put yourself together, be a man. If you can't make money outside, make yourself useful in the house. Clean everywhere. You better gather your lousy, cheap things you left in my house and get out. Excuse me. I don't even know if you have anything to inherit. No, I'm wasting my time. The road might be wrong, yeah, yeah. but I'll keep on treading this path with enemies surround. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep fighting until I win. Chuku kumunazu. I cannot lose what is mine. Chuku I'm taking over, I'm taking over Chuku Kumunazu I cannot lose what is mine Chuku Melumese I'm taking over, I'm taking over Yeah sweet but also can kill the thirst for power is tearing us down shadows of the past breaking us apart no matter what i face i can only say the road might be wrong yeah, yeah, yeah. but i'll keep on treading this path with enemies surround yeah, 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 yeah. Until I win, Chuku Kumunazu. Take this. Go to the market. Buy everything you have on this list. No mistakes. You know you're very dumb. Have it. Take your car. Uh -uh. Everything about you is slow. Baby, mm, baby, baby, mm. baby. Hey, what is this? No, Jason, what, what is this you're doing? Kissing your hands. I thought you had gone to the market. What are you still doing here? No, I just uh, finished what I had in the kitchen now. I'll start going, but I said before I leave, let me just say goodbye, kissing your hands. Shut up. Look at how you look like a goat smiling. 
You want to come and kiss my hand before you go to the market? A poor man like you, you are playing love before you go to the market. My dear, romance is meant for the rich and not for the poor. When you make money, you come and start kissing goodbye before you go out. You don't make money, you want to come and kiss hand. I put also some hand. Come on, come and kiss inside my nose. All day. My friend, run along and go, uh, uh, go and get me what I asked you to get me. You get to kiss. Look how large you kiss. I said go and get me what I what, what I said what, what, what I asked you to get for me from the market. It was just a kiss. Yeah. It's not it's not just a kiss. Come and give me a holy kiss. Oh god now. Eh? Is this your slow attitude that made you miss out on your inheritance? You are never fast to do anything. Anything they ask you to do, you'll be crawling. Be crawling. Or go to the market and go buy me what I asked you to get me, Joe. Please, don't even annoy me anymore. Just carry this your lousy lazy set that I'm seeing and get out of my sight. Are you still looking at me? Go now! See, shoot. When you are doing romance, this poor thing that has not even seen one naira is coming to do romance. I love you. Let that love kill you in, in, in that market that you are going to. Let it jam you. Stupid thing. It's not going to be to me in this house. No, yes, ma'am. So, come on. Huh? No, 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 Listen. Ah. Oh, wow. Of you, did I? Did I hear you say broke? Jason, I am asking you, did I hear you say broke? Breaking news. Those boys you call broke have been taking care of your bills, your feeding, clothing, and even the rent of this house. Now, let me ask where are your friends? The one you normally party with? Where are they? I have been taking care of you. You should be showing gratitude and not giving me this stupid attitude of yours. I sleep in with them. Really? Is that a problem to you? This is my house and I call the shots. If you have a problem with how I provide money for you, get your silly self out of my house. Excuse me. Come back. Yes. yes. Jason! 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 Walk out on me, let me see. Jason, if you touch me one more time, I'll hit you. Alright. Don't try it again. Try to walk out of me. Try to walk! Jason! 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 Talk to me like that again! Talk to me like that again! Jason! Talk to me! You're talking to me every time! Jason! Call me pro from the heart! She really wants to do this for you. See how serious she is. Studying personal stuff, you told her about yourself. If she's able to pull this through, 
I will reward her. In fact, I will gift her with something she will never imagine. Olivia is an optimist. Once she sets her mind to something, she gets it. We'll see about this one. She's... She's indeed very intelligent and I am super proud of her. That reminds me. You cleared our rents for one year. Why didn't you tell us so we could thank you properly? No, it's not me. I didn't do it. Don't do that because you look funny when you do that. Don't lie to me. I asked my landlord and he told me. And from his description, it's you. You did it. So, uh... Jay. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Your landlord told you. Oh goodness. That man is not credible at all. Power of a woman. He likes me and he's been asking me out for some time now. So I was able to press him and he told me it's you. By the way, when are we going to see the lawyer? You're really tired, sir. Oh, yes, I'm tired. Okay, oh. let me drop the bag inside. Um, Sharon. Sir? I let Jerson travel out of town. Have you heard from him? Today is the last day of the month. And if he loses the swan, I'm sorry for him. He will lose all. Well, he still has the end of today. So I am hopeful for him. Well, Chief William was right after all with how things have been with him so far. He needed to clear his desk and be in the circle of um, real, true friends. Someone is at the door. You are his two friends, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many years have you known him? It's not about the duration. It's about the value we place on the friendship. I'm not sure he did not pay you to do this. How well do you know him? Mm. Very well. Well enough to know his favorite color, favorite food. He likes, dislikes, and besides, he doesn't have a dime to his name. What a smart child. Oh, you are the luckiest to have this intelligentsia as a child. How old are you, my love? I'll be nine, July 6th. Nine? Nine? So smart. I really don't know how to appreciate you guys. You guys have been awesome. You both have been loving, more like family. I appreciate you both. Olivia, you have been awesome. You've been wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome, but you promised that you take us to the city to live a better life. And I will. Even if it will cost the very last drop of my blood. Okay. Um, let me quickly make something for us to eat.
Has Uncle Jay ever told you that your grandfather is the reason he is still alive today? All I know is that since I've been a boy, they've been friends. I mean, they've been friends, but they talk. Whatever they say, where they say, how they say, it's none of my business. I just focus on things that concerns me. Well, it's good you hear from the husband's mouth. He's going to tell you someday. Listen. I know I've not really been a good friend to you. I must confess, you've been a, you've been a good person to me. I, I know you like me. And I see it. I know you see it too. Well, I totally understand. I really like you. But with no ulterior motives. I just felt you were a helpless rich kid who had every opportunity to live life at its best, but misused it. And now having to work for what you already owned. I really feel for you and I hope you win at the end. Of course. Of course I will. Hmm? It's okay. A friend of mine traveled out of the country and left his property in my care. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hand over the keys to you so you put up until you're able to stand on your feet. You will? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. It's fine, I'm packed over there. Let's just get to the car. Right behind you. Behind you. Hello, son. I hope you're good. If you've made it to this point, congratulations. I want you to know that whatever you've been through is for your betterment, both for now and in the future. So let me tell you something about money. Money will always be there for you if you want it to be. Money keeps value that you place on it. Over the years, I gave you allowances in millions. But what did you do with them? You lavished them on women, clubbing, clothing, shoes, and what have you. Material things that gave no value. It's a case of garbage in, garbage out. Well, let's leave the past for the past. Let us try again on a lighter note. Over to you, John. Well, this is the gift of service and investment. There is 250,000 Naira in there. You have to come back with double of that amount after one month. You have to invest it on what people lack via investment. That is how business is created and whose profit is made. This is even in the Bible. When a servant is given money by his master, do you understand me? Mm. 
Um, I, I understand there's a lot you can do with the money. But I'm concerned about the, the stipulated time of return for the interest. Are you sure you'll be able to meet up? I don't know. Never done business before. I've never worked before. How on earth am I supposed to know what to do with 150,000 there? Huh? How am I going to be able to maximize this? I mean, double to 250,000 to 500,000. Okay, um, what if you. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Hello? Yes, this is Mabel. Yeah, Olivia's mom. Olivia, 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 yes, Olivia. You pay? Of what use is the money when you can save a soul? But I thought it was meant for. It doesn't matter what it was meant for. What matters is what it will do now. Thank you. God will bless you. Uh. to hide it away from me. I assume the doctor told you. Olivia has leukemia. If you had spoken out, we would have been able to find solutions to this problem. Who would I go to, Jason? Who would I have gone to? Her father? who abandoned us years ago. Or probably the boys in the slums who can barely feed every day. Or maybe the government who doesn't care about its citizens. Who exactly should I have gone to? Or let's see my parents in the grave. Chasing I had no one. But I'm out here. And I'm nothing but family. That's what I want to be. Part of your family. So you can die trying to save us. You've done more than enough for us. Look, I hate being a burden to anyone. That's why I had to keep it to myself because it's it has always been Olivia and I. And no one else. I am family. Family now. You should tell me anything, everything. Maybe. I'm not leaving here. Neither am I going to leave Olivia in this position. I'll stay with you. I'll stick to the end. Jason, I am scared. I'm scared my baby might not make it. I'm scared what if. What if she leaves me? She's not going to leave me. What if she leaves me? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Yes. 
500,000. You asked me to double it, right? I have it here. How did you do it? That question is irrelevant. The most important thing is that you have 500,000 Naira there. Can I have access to my inheritance? That can only be decided by your grandfather. I am only a messenger yeah. acting under instructions. Instruction. Again. 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 Hello, son. If you are here by now, I need you to calm down. I know tempers must be high by now. Please, be patient. Patience is a virtue, my son. So far, I've given you gifts of work, of friends, and the value of money. Now let's look at the gift of family. First week in October is always family Thanksgiving Day. I need you to bond with the family. Take a friend that you consider to be a true friend. Visit the family. Wine and dine with them. Spend quality time with them. I assure you, you will not regret this. I will let you know the reason for this gift when you come back. Good luck, son. Now that you know about me, what next? Run away because I'm a huge burden? Burden? <laughs> How can you talk like that? You're not a big burden. Hmm? You're my family. It is my responsibility to take care of you. Look after you. And make sure you're okay. My whole worry in all of this is... Why do bad things happen to good people? Look at you. Beautiful. Young. Vibrant. Why should God allow this to happen to you? Look at Jason. God is almighty. His thoughts for us are the best. His thoughts for us are the best? Yes, he allowed you to fall sick. God is just being cruel. Good Jason, please stop. God cannot be mocked. I believe you don't know him that well. With time, you'll get to know him better. My faith in him will always be strong. Okay, Jason, yes. do you love my mom? I love your mom with all my heart. Then, be strong for her. Please, 
help me take care of her for me. Will you? I'll do just that. So what is her fate, Doctor? Just go ahead and tell me. I will take it. I have to be honest with you. Considering her present condition, I don't think she will make it beyond Christmas. Yes. So, what do I do, Doctor? Medically, nothing. But with prayers, I believe miracle can happen. So please pray for her. I am very sorry, Miss Mabel. Please excuse me. Jason. I had to talk to Look at me. Look at me. Do you still believe in miracles? Have you lost your faith? Tell me. Have you lost your faith as a Christian? Have you? Please, uh, uh, don't be offended. I just, I'm just curious to know. Olivia's father. What happened? Why, why did he leave? Olivia's father. Oh. <clears throat> when I met him, I I was young and naive. We had a good time together. He made lots of beautiful promises, or should I say fake promises to me, which made me fall in love with him. And then I got pregnant for him and everything changed. He forced me into aborting the pregnancy. When I refused, he turned me into a punching bag. What? He beats me every time. I, I was forced to run to his mother's house, where I stayed there until I had Olivia. Then I was forced to marry him. Why did he refuse to accept Olivia and your parents, I mean your people, while he was busy using you as a punching bag? What did they do? 
I'm an orphan. I had nobody. No family. No friends. No companion. I was all alone. He blamed me for ruining his life and cutting short his his goals and aspirations. He said he never loved me and that he did all of that just to get in between my legs. But I had fallen deeply in love with him. So I couldn't help it. I was frustrated. I lost everything. Um, I'm so, so sorry. Sorry. You don't need to. You see, Olivia is the best thing that has ever happened to me. She's the best gift that God has given to me my entire life. And I don't regret having her. She's my source of joy. She's my happiness. She motivates me to work and not to give up on life. She's my strength. She's the reason I want to wake up every morning. I love Olivia so much. I cherish her and I just wish I can give her the best. I wish I can make life very comfortable for her. I want her to feel loved. I wish I can give her that family which I never had. <laughs> I, I'm sorry for putting you through all of this. It's okay. It's alright. <laughs> you see, <clears throat> I am on a quest to get back my inheritance. But since I came here, Something changed. I... I found peace. Inner peace. I... found love. So much of it. And I... I made a decision that I'd rather stay here. I don't want to go. I just want to stay here with you and Olivia. Nothing gives me greater joy than that. I'll stay. Thank you. Thank you. about the family Thanksgiving I told you about? Um, I, I would have loved to attend, but I have to be around for Olivia. Mom, I'm not going to die. Besides, Nurse Titi is always around me. You can go with him. Case settled. Looking 
not all you just said. I don't think you are in any match with our nephew, Jason. It won't work. It will just use you and dump you. Exactly. You need to make a right decision now and back off in case you have eyes on his inheritance. <coughs> better know your place. The earlier, the better. But, Mas, I... Yes! We talk, you listen and obey. We have a family reputation to protect. And aside Jason bringing you into this family, you don't have the right to sit before us or even talk. Your likes is not among the cycle. I don't know why you're still seated before us. I'm sure your ears are working. What have you told her? The truth, of course. <laughs> her likes nice. does not belong here. At all. Her likes does not belong here. How dare you? How? Be right back. Please don't go. I don't know what they've said to you in there, but they're all lies. You're yes. welcome here. It's the truth, Jason. I I don't belong here. I am never gonna belong here. I should have known this from the outset. No one detects for me. You belong here. Here. No. Oh, Jay. This is your family. They are always going to be your family. Look, I appreciate everything you've done for me. I, I really am grateful, but they will never accept me here. I, I've calculated everything you've you've spent on Olivia and I. I I promise to pay you back, even if it takes me the rest of my life. I, I will do it. But I really have to go. Don't follow me, please. Please don't go. Do <laughs> Mabel, Mabel, Mabel.
Are you going to let these people come between us? After all we've shared? After all we've been through? Please. I don't... I don't care about them right now. All I care about is you. You and Olivia. You are your family. You and Olivia are also my family. Nothing will stop me from standing by you. Nothing. Please. I'm going to stand by you. Please. This was my wife, my woman, my everything. She passed on a year after we were married. A beautiful woman. <clears throat> she left me a precious gift. A wheel to move on. I will cherish her forever. Sorry about you, no, sir. It's okay. You know, when you marry a good woman, try to guide and cherish her with all, I mean, your all, because they are rare. And that's enough of this sad note. I felt you would stop by after the Thanksgiving, so I came home with this. You know, Marissa, you were so dynamic. I mean, where did you keep all those qualities? I mean, one would search your entire office without finding any of them. You know, I've been a lawyer for over 30 years. And as a senior advocate, I deserve to be credible. I can believe you. <laughs> you have been trying searching. Welcome back, son. So, how was the Thanksgiving? No, let me guess. It wasn't fair, right? But you protected that someone that you considered to be family. That is how it should be. Now, your happiness and peace of mind matter most. No matter the class, status, or anything. So what did you learn from this? I hope you learned a lot. I can assure you that we are almost getting to the end of this. But as you know, in any process, 
the beginning is always very tough. But things get easier with time. As the saying goes, he who laughs last, laughs best. It takes one man to create a change and not a nation. You will soon find out, my son. John, give it to him. Dead or what? I don't understand. What is the meaning of this? My five, a dead zone, a place they sell human parts, human trafficking. Is that where you and grandfather wants me to go next? To go to what? Manual labor? I'm not going to my five. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Jason, this might be your last work for the inheritance. Don't you think you needed to give life to those? Barrister, don't you think that I need to be alive to get my inheritance? Do you know my five? Why does grandfather hate me so much? Why does he want to destroy me? Why is he giving me all these difficult times as if he does not want me to get this inheritance? He could have just said so instead of putting me through all this dangerous task. My five is a dead zone. Just said, nobody is trying to destroy you. They are trying to make you get your inheritance. Nothing good comes so easy. Stop trying to sound like my grandfather. You're not him, you will never be him. I have one of his kidneys. What? Uncle Jason. Yeah. What is this? Is there anything wrong? They want me to go to my five. Is it part of the tax for your inheritance? Then you can go. What about your mom? What about you? Who is going to take care of you both? Is risk in my fight. Everyone knows that. You have an empire to inherit. You can't do that successfully if you're not strong. Can't you see he's wise? What if I die? A father can't kill his only child. You have the body of a little girl. But the wisdom of the old. I promise you one thing. I will come back victorious. But... Come back before Christmas. Oh, you are welcome, eh? But Sir John told me that you are calling. Sorry about your grandfather's death. Eh? Come, let's go. Look, do you know what you're talking? Are you are you drunk? Do you know what you're talking? You know what you talk to? Otega, 
I don't, no, 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 I don't follow you for this thing. I don't follow you at all. Jeremy, these people are humans like us. Jeremy, these people have no hope. Jeremy, these people don't want to be under the custody of Ortega, and you know it. Jason, Jason, you know what Ortega be? You know Ortega? Ortega kills for fun. Ortega, they kill people like foul. Hey, I advise you to back off oh, before Ortega kill you. Uh, what if this is the reason my father sent me here? To liberate those people from Ortega. I need you to know one thing. I am not backing out. Hi. Hi. You just won't die, Ja. You just won't kill yourself. Hi. Hi. What? Oh, think about it. Huh? What is going on here? Why is Jeremy not here yet? I just hope he's safe. Where are you? From Paul's. If you move. Hi. Hi. Where are you? Huh? I hear your voice. Hmm? Move. Hi. Please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come, move, move. Come on, perfect your alignment. Let me give her a chance to. Who the check her? Mr. Man, Sir? I am General Ortega. As you can see, I am the leader of this fellowship. I have long waited for this day to meet you in person. Nice meeting you. Um, General, General, I. I'm, 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 I want to, to beg you that you, I mean, this, this people that you, you hold captive, my, my father, my, my grandfather would, wouldn't, 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 shut up! What is going on? Will you, I will recharge you. Are you mad? Sorry, 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 sir. Your grandfather put me in prison for years. He thought I was going to die there! Mercy, I ask you, what can I render so that these people can go free? My license! My documents! Your stupid grandfather took them all! And I must get them back! Else I will so cut! You into pieces and kill every member of your family one after the other until you all go down if I do not get my papers back. Do you hear me? I understand, sir. I 
understand, General. Understand. Thank you, thank you, General. You're far too kind. In the meantime, in the next one hour, we will call the stupid barrister, Mr. John. I believe those documents are still with him since your grandfather is dead. But that will be after my meditations. Boys, take him back to prison. Clear road for that man. We do check out. Stay happy. What's up? Stand up. Proceed. Tell him if he tries to play anything funny. If, 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 if you zuzu. Stay happy. If you zuzu. Jerome, how did they find you? Huh? What is going on here? Why is Jerome not here yet? I just hope he's safe. Where are you? From boys. If you move. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, Will you? Uh -huh. I hear your voice. Hmm? Move. Hi. Please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come, move. move. Come on, perfect your alignment. I was waiting for you. I told you. Yeah? I don't know why you're in the world. I, 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 I warned you. See now. I told you, Otega, I'm a very, very bad man. Any wrong move we make now, they don't kill us with that. At least we know where his camp is now. No, I know where he can't be. It's not about knowing where his camp is. Eh? What will happen to us now? It's not the old. Let's focus on what your grandfather asked you to do. You, you just go show yourself. He's trying to get the documents my grandfather collected from him. Especially through Barrister John. But I know Barrister John. He's a wise man. He's not going to give it. Nah. Nah. nah I, I, oh. If you listen to me now, this is not going to happen. Hey, you come here, you don't even know you're there. You just jump, jump, jump. You just jump past yourself. I swear you don't put us now. You're talking to Jason Williams. Your eye goes so clear now. Uncle Jay. Yes. What do we do now? I, I think we should give him what he's demanding. No, I can't do that. Chief William would be angry from the grave if I do that. Do you know how many years it took us to put that bastard behind the bar for the evil he committed? And we took over the license. I can't, he can't have that license. But he's threatening to kill Jason if he doesn't get it within 48 hours. He will not. Even if he has the documents, he needs his signature. In the absence of Chief Williams, Jason shouldn't have gone to Ortega in the first place. That was what his grandfather did that caused him his death, trying to prove his bravery without proper planning and strategy. But Chief wouldn't have sent him there in the first place. After all, he has tried with his tax and he needs... Will you shut up? You don't have to question the wisdom of 
a wise man. I want to be left alone. Now, get out. I said, get out! Please, uh, 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 he's going to pick. He's going to do anything you say. Just, let's just give him a little time. Ah, da, da! Ah! Listen! Ah! I am a tiger! And no one messes with me! Oh, no one. I am not stupid when I said 48 hours. A tiger does not give second chances. You're not stupid. Just give him a little time. My word is my bond! Please, please, Teddy. I beg you. Say me well to the devil. No, no. Fuck out now! <laughs> Please, I, 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 I've been, I've been, I've been taking note of you, and I, I strongly believe that you, 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 you're, you're not really a bad person. It's just because of, um, it feels like there's, there's, there's no option. Uh, but, but there is. I, I just, I want you to, to, I want you to see how you, you, you can, please, help us live here. Will you shut up before I was you? Sorry, 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 sorry. What, 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 what I'm just trying to say in essence is, you're not, you're not a bad person, eh? Just, just take a good look at these people. We have mothers in their midst. We have fathers in their midst. We have children in their midst. How can Ortega shut down one community, held them as captives? Ortega cannot do this alone. He's grinding and, and, and achieving all these things with your help. Please. I beg you, huh? I, I, I beg you, help liberate these people. Posterity won't forget you. The community won't forget you. Please. I can never trust the government. But we are not, we are not the government. We're just concerned citizens that want to liberate these people. Yes. You know, the, the children will have to go back to school. They cannot just live the rest of their lives as, as captives. Please, I promise you one thing. You will never regret doing this. Posterity will bless you. The future will bless you. Nature will bless you. Eh? Listen, let me tell you. Don't try this with any other person here. Whether you like it or not, Otega must kill you. I, I, I told you. No I told you. Comes here and leaves alive. Uh, please, br br brother, brother, brother. You Uncle. don't hear what, you don't hear what, you don't hear what. See, 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 how are we don't put us now? And, and I tell you, I tell you. Jeremy, are you panicking? Jeremy. Someone has to liberate these people. And that's us. Well done, Liberto. Well done. Well done. Your eye goes so clear. No, no, what take be? Liberto. I don't know, but I think you shouldn't relapse. Don't give him the documents. 
He may kill Jason. All my intel and strategy may look like they fail. I must have that boy alive. The people will see more hell in his hand. And this time, no one will be able to stop him. You have to be alive to fight for that. I mean, Jason has to be alive. I'm cutting the deal not to harm him. If you have this. And you trust this? Cheryl, I don't think we'll have time. Let's go. Hello, Barista. <laughs> nice one. All right, I will send you the address of where we will meet. One more thing, Barista. You know I hate people playing on me. Be careful. <laughs> Idiot, what are you still doing? Come on, get out from here. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I have to. Whatever it takes, I will bear the consequences. Okay? Uh, so, you will take this way. This way? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Just know that one day in this life, I'll, I'll definitely pay you back. Let's go. Let's Thank, go. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Jeremy, wait for me!
the gun. Here is to be to tell General Tega to drop his weapon. Are you out of your mind? Let the girl go. Listen, I am in a good mood today. I will allow you go if you get out of my way now. Get out! Get out! Let her go! Let's do it man to man. Let her go! Let her go! Did anybody look for me in the office? Nobody, are you sure? Forrest. Right. Ah. Thank God. Thank you, Barrister. You're far too kind. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Barrister, thank you. Barrister, Barrister, thank you so much. You came on time, you're, you're ready. Let's go, let's go. Thank you. Let's okay. Um, please, let me call Sharon. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's go. Sharon. Please be coming. It's a season of celebration for the people of Malfire as they celebrate an era of freedom from Otega's terror and the people came together to celebrate their superhero, Jessin Williams, the new prince of the community. He is about taking a ride around the community as they celebrate him. This is about the best Christmas for the people. Follow us for all the juicy details. Um, Blessing Anthony reporting for Chai's TV. I'm taking over, I'm taking over. I cannot lose what is mine. I'm Taking over, yeah. Ha, ah, Good to see you. Good to see you. I thought I lost you. You're never going to lose me. So did you? Yes. Where is she? It's like. Stop. All right, I'll try to stop. Mm. Hey, beautiful angel. My hero, thank you for all this. God bless you. Oh, come on, it's nothing. God bless you too. 
And that reminds me, I am so sorry for not being here on Christmas. Something came up, but I promise you won't. The next Christmas, I am going to be with you no matter what. Hmm? Well, that is if we are going to have one. Don't you believe in miracles? Don't you have faith? It's a reality. Um, you don't believe in miracles? Tell her. Come on. I see light at the end of the tunnel. Hmm? Let's just keep our fingers crossed and have faith. Merry Christmas. Oh, you've had enough of all this mood talk. Can we just lighten up and say something positive? Like, Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas, baby. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Everything is going to be fine. this urgency that cannot wait till tomorrow? Oh, this is very important to me, Barista. I need to get access to any of my grandfather's cars, probably his private jet. Uh, you know Olivia's condition, I need to take her on a trip, and that includes the mother. It's Christmas already, I'm sure they would appreciate it, so please, I need to get access to my grandfather. No, I, I... Uncle G, please. Don't say no to such a quest. If this is a memory a dying girl wishes to hold special to her heart, please don't say no. Did you put plan this? Please. The road might be wrong, but I'll keep on treading this path with enemies surround. I'll keep fighting until I win. us down shadows of the past breaking us apart no matter what i face i can only say the road might be wrong yeah, yeah, yeah. but i'll keep on treading this path with enemies surround yeah, yeah, yeah. i'll keep fighting until i win Chukukumunazu. I cannot lose what is mine. Chukumelo meze. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. Chukukumunazu. I cannot lose what is mine. Chukumelo meze. I'm taking over. 
mão nessa. Vamos ver. Vamos ver nessa. Tudo bem. Você dormiu bem? Sim. Obrigado, Uncle Jason. This was the best Christmas of my life. If I will live to next year, I'll do it again. If you will be alive, of course you're going to be alive. Next year, next two years, next three years, next 50 years, next 100 years. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. This is going to be the greatest phase of our life. You agree with me? Hmm? Let me get water. Oh, please do. Get for me too, okay? Okay. Hurry up. Olivia. 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 Greetings, Barista. Your work. You have to come closer. Hello, son. If you've gotten to this point, I am super. Super proud of you. It means my dream for you has been actualized. So far, I have given you gifts in form of tasks, all practical. Now I want to give you a special gift. I need you to dream. Dream of anything, any goal, be it business venture. The resources to actualize this goal will not be an issue. Barista John knows what to do. He said you know what to do when we get there. So you made this? Yes. Wow. Hmm. Uncle Jason. Yes. What's your dream? Everyone has one. Uh, <laughs> well, um, unfortunately, I do not have one. Let's just say, um, I was born with a golden spoon, or should I say, I come from a very wealthy family where I don't have to ask or seek or want. I have everything at my beck and call. So um, all I do is wake up and have fun. So you tell me, what is your own dream? Well, I want to have a platform for people to meet goals in life. I want to give Hopes, lives, joy, peace and harmony. I think that's what I was called to do in life. Uncle Jason. Yes. Maybe you can make my dream come true since you don't have one. <sighs> da -da -da. Jason, we are waiting for you. What did you come up with? You see, I realized that um, 
Even if you do not have a dream, you can always help others realize their dreams. By so doing, you discover your own dream. So I, Jason, have decided to help other people realize their dreams. <sighs> well, as instructed, as instructed by your grandfather, Chief Williams, and witnessed by Sharon on this day, this is 200 million naira for that dream and for the instruction will be made when you are done. Good luck. I know you both are expecting me to be so excited. 200 million. Well, I do not know why I'm not feeling anything at all. Why? Jason, you should be excited about this outcome. Well, I... Don't blame him, miss. I understand your feeling now because you are a different person. And you have known the value of a whole lot and appreciate people in a different aspect. You have put into work every penny you're worth and deserve to be appreciated. Um, Jason, I am very proud of you and I wish you the very best. Thank you. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Ah. All of those things, man. Shit happens. Yeah. Baby! Oh my goodness, baby! Hey! Shift. Um, what are you doing here? At least, ask me to sit down. It's me, Tasha. What? What are you doing here? Um... Please, I, I, I'm sorry for everything I did. I, 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 listen, I'm not even going to have an argument with you. I, I made a terrible mistake, but, but that mistake was intentional. Yes, I, I meant to do everything I did, just, you know, to, to push you, to make you a better man. You, you see those times I kept insulting you, I kept shouting, I kept, those things were, were just to motivate you. I, I wanted you to go out there and hustle. Hustle like your fellow men. You know, become that, that Jason I, I used to know. I, I really did all those things just to, just to, 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 to make you better. I, I, I really didn't mean any of those things. I, I swear. I, I mean, let's take a look at you. Jason, look around. I mean, everything is in place, intact. You, I, I, in fact, I'm proud of myself. I, I think I did an amazing job. Have you finished? No, if, if you want me to say more, I can actually... I have a lot bottled up inside. I, I have a lot to say to you. This, this is just like a preamble, you know? Let, let me I'll just... get out of my house. Get out! You, you mean like uh, outside the gate? Oh, I see you like it physical. Okay, I'll show you a video. I try to push you, I try to be your motivator, I try to do this, I try to do that. You hurt me!
Wow, this is good. I think I like it. <laughs> Great. Wow. Look at this one. Welcome, Uncle Jay. <laughs> Good year, back. What is so exciting about that you are enjoying and the love? Justin really wanted to see you. Come and take a look. Wow. Justin. You come up with this? Yes. Uh, very nice, very amazing. Uh, have you st already started with this? Yes. This is one of the good things I've ever witnessed from you. <laughs> Impressive. Uh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> so impressive. Yeah. Yes? Mabel. What? Indeed a miracle. Very big miracle. But he didn't tell you who the person is. No, he didn't. He only said it's a good Samaritan. Who is this good Samaritan? But mommy, you would have forced him to tell you so that we can tell the person properly. He didn't give me the chance to. Because when he gave me this, I could not believe it. I was shocked. I was confused. But mommy, I'm suspecting Uncle Jason, you know. but you know he doesn't have any money and you didn't discuss it with him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Whoever did this, God bless the person. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Come here. Hi. You both have been loving, 
more like family. I appreciate you both. Olivia, you have been awesome. You've been wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome, but you promised that you take us to the city to live a better life. And I will. Even if it will cost the very last drop of my blood. The road might be wrong, yeah, yeah. but I'll keep on trading this path with enemies surround. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep fighting until I win. Chuku kumunazo. I cannot lose what is mine. Chuku melumeze. I'm taking over, I'm taking over Chuku Kumunazu I cannot lose what is mine Chuku Melumeze I'm taking over, I'm taking over Yeah sweet but also can kill the thirst for power is tearing us down shadows of the past breaking us apart no matter what i face i can only say the road might be wrong yeah, yeah, yeah. but i'll keep on treading these path with enemies surround yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep fighting until I win. Chuku kumunazu. I cannot lose what is mine. Chuku melumeze. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. Chuku kumunazu. I cannot lose what is mine. Chuku I'm taking over, I'm taking over, yeah.
was best. <laughs> My little baby. Olivia was my source of joy. She was everything to me. It's all right. How can that be so unfair? How can that be so unfair? <laughs> So why am I taking me? Why am I still living? <laughs> Today is the grand opening of the ultra modern complex built by Jesse Williams. In the memory of late Olivia, here I am reporting live for Chai's TV and Melody Festus. So come with me, let's have a chat with Jesse Williams. In memory of our beloved daughter, friend, Olivia Messona. We are declaring this entire complex open. It's so unfortunate that she's not here with us. But may her gentle soul rest in perfect peace. My beautiful daughter and friend, Olivia, in her dying days, said, Since you do not have a dream, will you make my dream come true? I gave her my words. I promised her that I would do exactly what she said. And today, I decided to start up with this in her loving memory. She wanted a place where people will come together, share ideas, inspirations, and dreams. And then I decided to call it a place of inspirational home, Olivia's inspirational home. And this, I decided to call it Olivia's cancer home. Our beloved daughter and friend died of cancer. And she wanted me to put up a place where people who suffer the same illness should have a place where they can meet and be helped. So I decided to, with a little capacity of mind, put up this so that we can welcome all cancer patients and see how we can help them. This is Olivia's cancer home. And of course, this edifice. Olivia has always wanted a very big school, primary, secondary, where kids who have no parents can always stay, school, and um, of course, be sponsored. So I called it Olivia Schools. So, um, uh, Barrister John, my beautiful woman here, and of course, you, lawyer Sharon. Thank you for all the push. Thank you for all the support and all the love. Thank you. So, tribute to our beloved Olivia. Jason, my lovely son. I want to believe that your life and of course your future are now properly shaped. I made a mistake in the past and I felt this is the only way I can correct that mistake. I know you've passed through a lot and uh, I'm sure you've learned from them. 
you've learned what pain is, rejection, betrayal, near-death experience, love, and what have you. These are the experiences you need in life for you to be successful. I passed through all that and that made me what I am today. My son, the day you will call me father or grandpa instead of chief will be my happiest day. Know that I love you so much like I loved your late father. My son, I wish you the best in life. Bye. Chief, it's okay. You need to rest. <clears throat> At the completion of this tax stroke gifts, as stated here by Chief Williams Omoka, my companies in Dublin, Dubai, China, Ghana, UK, Indonesia and here in Nigeria, plus my estates and landed properties. Aside the money and three houses I gave to my daughters and my brother. Every other asset estimated about $3 billion will be handed over to my grandson. Jason Williams, signed by Chief Williams Omoka. Congratulations, Jason. It's not a dream, it's reality. Congratulations. Loving you more in death. Because I just realized how much you loved me.
forgive me. Please. Forgive me. I have a woman now. We we're still dating at the moment, but we hope to get married soon. She is so fond of your name. We will continue your legacy. I'm sorry. And I love you, Grandpa. There are so many things I would like to say. But looking at you, it feels they are all set already. From the very moment our path crossed, everything about me changed. Then I feel thinking. I just concluded that it has to be you. Loving you is everything I want. Loving me back is full to my soul. You can never be any other person. I want you to be the mother of my unborn kids. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to grow old with you. And in our old age, with our hair gray, I want to die lying in your arms. So I ask you, beautiful Mabel, but you will. Marry me. Say yes, and I will be the happiest man on earth. Yes. Yes, I'll marry you a million times. You don't make it yes. It's your mind. For real. Well, that's the truth. I mean, how do you think I managed to double that money in the short notice? Huh. Never done business before. <laughs> so how come? Because I cheated.
You stole the items? Still? No. I did not. I was given. You see, I've been patronizing this store for a while now. So the manager happens to be my friend. I went there, sat him down, spoke to him about one or two. Promised him that I would not fail. And he accepted. Just like that? Well, not just like that. I had to pay them five times the worth of the goods. That so, was smart of you, baby. You are smarter than your looks, Jerson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're smarter than your looks. Consider it, girl. <laughs> <laughs>